Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be showcasing the custom items aspect of space created by my good friend Ali Z4. So without further ado, let's hop in. So uh, first thing you're gonna want to do is open up space and you can view all the recipes for all the different items. And um, again, you get all the descriptions for these items as well. So first things first, we're going to build an artificial gravity generator. Uh, we already had the recipe laid out. Uh, I just gotta remember diamonds in the corners, my friends. So here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Doop, 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 doop. And uh, for all the other items, we're gonna have them pre-crafted just for simplicity's sake. So here we're going to um, get going with the artificial gravity generator. Um, we're gonna come out with their spacesuit. And you guys will, we're gonna turn our uh, chunks on so we can view it. So it's going to affect the whole junk, whole chunk and it's going to affect blocks, um, 10 blocks above and 10 blocks below. As you guys can see, the gravity has returned to normal, and if we were to exit the chunk, we get the space gravity effects going on with us. So again, that is really, really cool. Um, you know, for whatever reason you want uh, a whole chunk to be regular gravity, there you guys go, there's the solution. Next up, we have the oxygen generator which generates oxygen in your chunk, similar to the gravity generator. Except this one goes um, four blocks above and four blocks below. And as you guys can see here, we have no need for our spacesuit right now. But if we are to leave this, we start taking mad space damage. So just watch out for that, guys. Um, next up, we have the advanced oxygen generator. So if we're to just uh, break this up and place this one down oh you can't place if you're uh, dying okay there we go so pretty much um, it's the same thing except this one's a little bit more expensive it's eight blocks above eight blocks below next up we got the photonic barrier now this is one awesome bad boy pretty much we're going to place down the barrier here poof and we have a complete shield around us you can actually edit what sort of schematic you want um, to appear. It doesn't have to be this spheric um, circle. And I should note that um, after the 15 seconds are over with this barrier, all blocks are returned to how they were. Even if you overlap a chest, you will have the chest items retained there as well. So that's really useful. Next up, we got the jetpack controller. Um, I should note that if you have uh, jetpacks added to your spacesuit chest plate, then you will be able to use this bad boy. So pretty much you can adjust the thrust settings. By default, the thrust settings are set to medium, but with the um, controller, you can set it to high or low. So why don't we uh, go set it to low, see what it looks like. You're just gonna shift, and then we're going to activate thruster here. Also, if you are to right uh, left click, um, it will disable the jetpack. So we can go um, set our thruster power to high. As you guys can see here, we get a much stronger boost here. Also, with the gravity on, uh, you do take fall damage as well. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up for you guys, we have the vision controller. If you have spectral vision um, for your spacesuit helmet, you can actually adjust if you want it on or off. So here you can enable or disable. So with it disabled, um, the... Um, the night vision is turned off and if we turn it back on the night vision turns back on fully so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed that was me showcasing the custom items aspect of space thanks for watching everybody and i will see you guys later peace